Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Frank the Handyman. In this video, we're gonna be showing you how to install a Louisville attic ladder step by step. Please stay tuned and continue watching until the end because we're gonna show you how we were able to install this, especially in an area where there wasn't one before. And we're gonna be explaining all the details in a bit. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn how to do all kinds of handyman DIY projects around your house, including home renovations, then you're in the best place here on YouTube since that's all we do here. Consider subscribing to our channel and activate the notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any videos that we're going to be uploading in the near future. Here we have a Louisville brand model AA22101 attic ladder that we're going to be installing and here we're just unboxing everything i'll show you what's there and basically it's just the attic unit and we have a gasket the there's a few screws like wood screws and then also the legs that are on the right side that's what we're going to be installing um, at the bottom of the base so what we're going to be using here is a couple of ladders we definitely recommend for you to have a few people to do this. We're gonna start off by cutting a small section of two by four. This is approximately a little less than two feet wide. And this is gonna serve as the header and the footer of the attic ladder. Before this, I went ahead and measured this opening right here and that's where I got the measurement. So we basically cut the two by fours so they fit directly in between the framing of the attic. And we're just putting those in place with a square and we're gonna be putting a couple screws on either end. After that, we're gonna measure the length. I went ahead and measured the length of the attic ladder and um, we basically measure the same thing right here and wherever that lands, I'm gonna be placing the other two by four so it creates the opening. And if you read the instructions, it says that they recommend for you to put a temporary support. That's what we're putting right here. We just got a small like section of, of wood that we had and we're just gonna place it there temporarily. So once you have that, then we can go ahead and get this attic ladder. We're gonna be lifting it up and placing it on, on that temporary support. It created like a little ledge, you know, so it, it can sit on it. Now, when we put it up there, since the measurement of the opening was kind of tight, it didn't quite fit um, in the beginning, so we were trying to push it in there. We just kind of banged it a little bit with the hammer and then it just went in, not a problem. Once, you, once we did that, we're gonna go ahead and put a couple of screws on either side to, they're just temporary screws, you know, to hold up the ladder. So that way I don't have to like hold it up there the whole time and it's just, you know, you're gonna have your guy get really tired. So I recommend just put a couple long screws there through the side and that's gonna help keep it in place. Then from here, this is all the materials that the equipment comes with. Wood screws, two and a half inches. They have large um, three inch screws and it guides you, you know, little by little on how to do everything. It asks for two supports, support A and support B. We only installed one. Um, I mean, you can do the other one if you want, but honestly, I mean, the way how we're doing it, it's it's pretty simple and straightforward. Over here, it gives you the rough in um, instructions of what you need. And then on this side for permanent installation, it lets you know all of the three inch screws, the location and where they need to go. So once you have your attic ladder, they also, you have like this handle it's like a string that has a handle at the end. You'll want to put that through the hole and and that way, you know, you can pull it down or whatever. So once you have all your screws in place, you can go ahead and remove that support. But um, in, it also asks for you to put in a um, shims. So we have a couple of long sections of shims that we're just going to put in this gap that's between the framing and the ladder. So once we put that in there, we're gonna go ahead and, and those three inch screws, we're gonna 
put those through the attic ladder, the shims, and into the the framing and all of that. So basically on either side, and this is the only area where the shims need to go. Um, everywhere else, it it's gonna basically go directly into the framing, the two by fours. So these are the three inch screws that come included with the um, with everything there. So that's what we're gonna be installing right here. So now you see that we're putting them through the shims and into the framing. It asks you to put three on either side and four on the end where the hinge is. And, and that's because that's like the heaviest part of the ladder. So you'll wanna put like four screws into that end and that's pretty much it. So once you have that installed, we noticed that this ladder, it's too long. You can see that in the middle, there's like a huge gap and it's just not the right angle. So we're gonna have to cut this and I'm gonna show you how to do that as well because you may have to do it. Depending on the height of your ceiling, they give you on the left side, there's like a chart on the instructions. And in our case, the, the ceiling was about eight feet tall. So the, it says that you'll wanna cut it just below the second step. And it asks us to do it at an angle. And that's what we're doing right here. We're just cutting that and there. So once I did that, now it's nice and straight, like at an angle. There's no gap in between the joints. Like you see right there, it's all nice and straight through there. So that's how we want it to be. And then the only thing that you gotta do after that is just install the, the legs, you know, like where, where it basically meets with the concrete or the floor. And they also include a couple of screws with some nuts on there. So you just put them in there, tighten them up, and that's the whole steps so so far basically i just show you the step-by-step -step process of how you can install an attic ladder in your garage in our case there wasn't anything there before so we had to put in the framing and all that but these ladders are very practical like you see right here you can fold it in three ways and then from there you just bring it up there and you can pull it down so this is for the homeowner so he can have a lot of more storage in his attic space. Now, I'll leave a, descript a link for the, this product in the description. So if you wanna get one, um, you know, that will help support our channel as well. And uh, you, know, you can click on that and it's through the Amazon. So you can obtain one and follow these steps. And basically you can have your own attic ladder in your garage or in any other area of your house. We hope you like this video. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and activate the notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any future videos that we're gonna be uploading. Please send us a comment, like the video. All those things will definitely help us out so we can continue to make more content. And especially in our company, you know, we, we have a handyman business so we do all kinds of projects Every day we're doing something new and uh, here pretty soon I'm going to upload another video of how we installed all the plywood and all that and creating a ton of storage for this customer in his garage uh, right above it. So yeah, please stay tuned for that and uh, you know, if in case you have this similar setup, you can also have like all of this, you know, an attic ladder and then you can have all the storage up here. May God bless you and we'll see you on the next project.